it was just emotional, uh, and it felt good. Carter, that was all defensively, all four, 20 turnovers, had 10 steals, both season highs. What was the focus in practice that led to those results? Well, the big focus was talking because we know they do a lot of motion. It's no set play, so you never really know what's coming. And uh, Coach Smith, that's how he harped on. And uh, Coach Poole Williamson that did the scout report did a good, <clears throat> good job of telling us to talk and communicate, and we can switch uh, some lights. It's just uh, Carter, I guess. Did it feel like they were able to have those types of wins over two years early on? Oh, no, you can never count them out of it. Um, they they can light it up, and I, I feel like they're probably going to uh, win their conference, the Summit League, and uh, that's a good team we beat, and you can never count them out with threes that they can hit. And Zach, I guess uh, in that second half, Uh, it, it felt real good. Uh, it felt like we were starting to play our game instead of theirs, and we were starting to get a rhythm. And I guess what were you guys able to do to kind of make them play their play your game, should I say? Did they be more uh, aggressive on defense, or what, what was it? Uh, we did a better job controlling the tempo, and we were able to uh, pressure on defense and get some turnovers leading the offense. Todd, you guys were shooting around 71% from the free throw line on the year, but you have about 83 83%. I think that's the biggest. Uh, you know, in the past, we haven't been a good free throw shooting team. And uh, Norris and Zach, everybody's knocking them down now. And that's a that, that's a good sign for coming up for Big 12 because at the end of the game, you're going to need it. And that's going to be a really big help making free throws. Zach, have you changed anything with your free throw approach? Or what's been my improvement for you? Uh, well, one thing I've changed was dribbling the ball. I stopped dribbling the ball. Keep me from thinking about shooting the free throw. And uh, I think I've just gotten an overall better rhythm out there on the line. Carter, sometimes earlier this season, Coach Smith will say that the coaches know what's going on, but they really want the players to kind of take it over and take control. Do you feel like they'll do that tonight? Yes, I really do. <clears throat> uh, we really talked on the court and uh, behind closed doors, the players did a good job of communicating and hyping each other up. Um, we're a family and we're brothers, so. Just to know that <clears throat> we took a leadership on our own as a player, as it really uh, showed tonight during that run. Tyler, just uh, I think six minutes, I guess, for Matt Temple, but you add another guy to your front court. You haven't seen a lot of him, I guess, in game action yet, but what does he bring to you and what have you seen from him? Uh, he brings, <clears throat> he has great touch, brings obviously size. Uh, we lost Isaiah Manderson, but. Uh, Matt can he can really play and I can't wait to, to y'all see how he can play because in practice he he's unbelievable he makes threes and just do a lot of things so and he set a lot of screens because he's so wide so he brings a lot to the table. Patrick only nine turnovers tonight. How big was the whole guard performance for y'all? Oh, uh, the guards in the bigs I think was really well. Uh, we're starting to um, have less turnovers like throughout the season and it's 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 showing that. Uh, we're improving, and that's a big step to um, winning games because the team with the most turnovers usually lose. So if we have less turnovers, we can uh, put more shots up. What do you think has been the biggest uh, reason behind that improvement in the turnover category? I think we're just not forcing things. Uh, we're not trying to go one-on-one -on -one and uh, force up passes that's not there. Uh, we When we see the numbers, uh, we try to pass it to them. And uh, Coach always say, hit the open man, and that's what we've really been doing. So. Not trying to force nothing and just hitting the open man. Did this feel like a big win in the locker room knowing that those guys have gone on the road and beat TCU and Minnesota, like you said, probably the winner of it? Oh, this is definitely a big win. Um, I heard they had some flying issues coming in, but <clears throat> it th that was a huge win. And they're, they're a really well-coached team. They can shoot it well and defend. They play a lot of packed-in defense, so it's kind of hard to get inside. But they're a really good team, and I think that was a great win for us. Coach said this was the best team that y'all faced this year, including Utah. Um, that that's about the case, or, or what? I do. I, I really think that's the case. Uh, one through ten, you see all of their players can uh, play and they can defend and shoot the ball, and that puts a lot of pressure on our defense trying to contest and talk. So um, I think they're one through ten. Uh, all the guys are really good, and that's the best team we played so far.